children's classics. Who doesn't love a good children's classic? And as an audiobook narrator, I've been fortunate enough to be asked to narrate a number of children's classics over the years. In the last few years, Wind in the Willows comes to mind particularly by Kenneth Graham, and uh, I had a connection with that one. As a child, I not only read the book, but I also got to play the judge in Toad of Toad Hall, which was the stage adaptation that A.A. A. Milne made from part of The Wind in the Willows. It's a beautiful book. Another book I got to read recently was Pinocchio by Carlo Collodi. Now, we're all familiar with the 1940 film, but the book itself, of course, contains much more action and many more characters. Uh, I did a blog in the middle of reading it, and I noted the number of different characters that I had had to voice. A talking cricket, a chick, a fox, a cat, a falcon, a crow, an owl, a parrot, a gorilla, a glowworm, a weasel, a pigeon, a dolphin, a crab, a dog, a snail. And I hadn't even finished the book, and that's not including all the villages and schoolboys that I voiced. How many books does an audiobook narrator get the chance to do that kind of thing in and um, really stretch your wings and fly with a number of voices. It's a joy. Pinocchio, The Wind in the Willows, those are great children's classics. One quibble though, I think they're just classics plain and simple. They may be the classics that children start reading with, but they are classics and I think they can stand alongside the best, like Don Quixote or Great Expectations. So, classics that children read. How about that?